Hey everyone, New England Gardening here. Today's July 22nd, and I think today's the day I'm going to separate this air layer uh, from the main plant. And I started this back on April 4th. This is Negrone or Violet de Bardot. And uh, yeah, it's a little nerve wracking. I think I'm going to cut this branch off, pot it up. And it has six figs on it, so I don't know if, they're, if they'll drop the figs or maybe I should pinch the top of it too because it is, it's probably f five feet. So let's go ahead and uh, enter. It's been a while, so it's interesting to see. I mean, it already had pretty dense root structure, so interesting to see how the roots have progressed and uh, go ahead and cut this off and pot it up. So let's go. Right, let's see what we got here. Okay. Got a lot of roots here. And they've turned that uh, color that they get when they're older roots as opposed to really young roots. They've got that yellowish color. And even though I've been piling water in there, it looks like it's to the point where the mix in there really can't even hold enough moisture for the massive roots that's in there so it's probably a good idea that I'm uh, taking this off now I don't know how I'm gonna go about doing this but let's see so it would have been nice if I had this position a little bit higher so I'm really having to I've taken out all the bark underneath here, so it's out of the way, and I've tried to get enough room so I can cut this off. It's going to be right flush with the soil line. So hopefully I won't nick the main trunk here. Be very careful. Actually, let's go. So it's not like I'm cutting oak or anything, it's, it seems like it's pretty soft cut. Okay, it's off. So here's where I removed it, pretty much flush. I think I cut into this other, I was planning on doing an air layer on this too, hopefully. I think there's enough left on the side here. But anyways, here's the plant. So I'll have to get that out of the sun. It looks like the soil is not retaining water too too well. It's pretty good draining soil, but uh, got some nice roots there. And I'll pot this up, and I've got another nice size Negrone or Violet de Bardot with one, two, three, four, five, six figs. So, so let's pot this up. So I'm going to use this square pot. I'm Sort of starting to like these square ones. I don't think they tip over as easily as the 
same size but uh, the uh, round ones and I've drilled some extra holes in the bottom I just have an organic garden soil I'm going to mix in some little extra perlite Some slow release osmocote garden flower and vegetable herd off fertilizer. Put some garden line in. Put in some pine bark nuggets on the bottom there to keep the soil from draining through the holes there, coming out of the holes. Some soil on the bottom. So it's looking like I should have had two completely separate pieces here because this is going to be difficult to remove this just from bending the one side here. I get a pair of cutters and see if I can cut this into two halves. All right, that was easier than I thought it was going to be. I have this in two halves now. And surprisingly, it really hasn't wilted that much. Look at the roots on this. So. That's all dry. It's a good thing I was pumping the water, topping that off. It's really a really good drainy mix I put in there. But geez, that's that's a solid mass. I wonder if I should score these or just go ahead and pot it up. Should probably score them, huh? I go get a razor blade. So that looks good.
put it in kind of at an angle so it would straight in the pot, I guess. So there you go, my first air layer, Negrone, also known as Violet de Bardot. Not a bad looking tree. Nice sized tree. And I didn't have to struggle through uh, trying to propagate a, gut, a cutting. So I'm going to take the experience from this and uh, start applying it to other varieties that I'd like to have uh, multiples of, uh, either to sell or for um, for backup in case uh, I lose I lose one. But let me water this in real good. I'll put it in the shade. I'll put some pine nuggets on the top there, and hopefully uh, this will also, this will will also ripen some of the figs that are on there. I'm hoping. Let's water this in. So this is New England Gardening and uh, thanks for watching this nearly four month process uh, on my first air layer and hopefully you've learned something from this so you can be successful on your own air layer. It's a great way to get a nice uh, more mature plant than going through the steps of propagating from cuttings. So I'll put this in a nice uh, shaded area and hopefully it'll go on to uh, ripen those figs and I've got a nice nice size Negrone fig tree so thanks for watching